Hey everyone, it's Ben. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you what is in my pencil case and like my favorite stationary items. And yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to mention is my pencil case. So yeah, this is my pencil case. It is by Angu Andrew. I don't know where, like, how to pronounce it, but it's this pencil case. It can fit too much stuff for a person to have, but since my other pencil cases are not big enough to fit everything at once, I use this, and so, yeah. This is where I fit all my pens and washi tapes and pencils and everything I need is in here besides my paintbrush, and my paintbrushes have a whole other pencil case, but it's, it's smaller, okay? But this is fairly new. I love it, and I recently got it. I haven't been able to take it on a trip yet, but if I do I do any vlogs, I will. you will be seeing this somewhere, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, so that is my pencil case. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my favorite type of stationery, and it is the Archer and Olive Acrylographs. These are very expensive but they are so worth it. Now they are from a small business and they have a seven millimeter tip and this is my favorite color. I have the Warm Fall Collection. Here's the tip. And yeah, overall these are a great tool to have and I just love them so much. Now something a lot like the acrylographs are the Poscas. Now, I they do come in various sizes. Here is the um, 0.7 millimeter tip. And this is a gold color, as you can see. Um, the Poscas come in a bit less um, colors than the acrylographs do, but the acrylographs, they sell 10 in a set, but you can get Poscas in a 22 as a set, or 21 as a set, sorry. Now there are other sizes of Poscas, and the ones that I have, I only have these in white, is I have this big one. It's, I think it's, it's the medium for some reason, but there's a bigger one, but that is pretty big. And then there's, there's the medium, actually no, not the medium, the small. And this is, white too and then I also have the brush now the brush is very interesting you have to like pump the um you have to pump the paint into it on this end I don't really like the brush it the paint like dries up in it and it's hard to like open it without paint spill spilling everywhere so I do not recommend this but it is something cool to have now, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is a Zebra Mild Liner. Now, he's, I'm sure you've seen these on YouTube if you watch stuff like this on YouTube, but it has two ends. It has the um, highlighter end and it has the point end. Or, yeah. These pens are really awesome and they come in 25 different colors. So, yeah, I have all five sets, so I have all 25 colors. They're really nice. I definitely really like them, and they're just great, and they're so colorful. You can use them on anything. You can use them for school. You can use them for art pieces. You can use them for basically every everything, and that's why I really like them. They're kind of the most versatile pen. Now, the next thing I have is also from Zebra. It is a metallic brush pen so this one is the purple as you can see and it is like a brush pen that is metallic so it's like shiny and all that um if you want to see how these are used you can check out my 2022 bullet journal setup that is really awesome i drew i drew rainbows with these and yeah now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is my Tombow Dual Brush Pen. 
I have mixed feelings about these. I used to love them and appreciate them so much, and I still do, but the Posca's Acrylographs and Mild Liners have all gone before it. It has a brush end, and it also has a um, other, <laughs> another, like, bullet end, I guess. I love these, but I don't think they are the best because they're easy to fray, and they're just... I do love them though. They have great color selection, but you also get kind of overwhelmed with them. But I do really like these, and I think if you wanted to get a great brush pen with colors, I think this would be your best for like calligraphy or coloring, it, like to make it look more professional. If you are still working on calligraphy though, I would like to introduce the um, Tombow Dual Brush Pen Hard Tip. And this is amazing. I love it so, so much. It is, it comes in black, but it also comes in other colors. So you can get a set of, I don't know how many, but the hard tip is great for beginners and it's just easy. I started out on the soft tip and that was really hard. So I recommend starting out on the hard tip and watching YouTube videos because, yeah. And now if you really want to learn calligraphy and you want to learn it from me, which I don't really recommend, my video is going to be up here and yeah. So the next thing that I like to use is a, is a mechanical pencil. This is the Pentel Graph Gear 500.3 pencil. And as you can see, it's very small, it's very small. And I recently, I got one of these for my birthday and then I lost it. <laughs> and then I asked for another one for Christmas and I got it. So <laughs> these are very easy to lose. I don't, I still don't really know where it is. So yeah, I would, I mean, I do really love this and yeah. But I also have to use lead with it. So this is um, the June 0.3 millimeter lead. Got this for five bucks, but it came with four other ones, and so it's very, it's very, very much, it's a lot of bang for your buck. I love it so much, and it's great to put in your pencil. Now. The next thing I have, if you have a pencil, you gotta have an eraser. So this is the Tombow Mono Sand Eraser. This is the one I've been using. I, I, got, with, I got two of them. This one is my favorite. I mean, I do really like it, but like also, it's kind of flop. I mean, it's it's okay. It's okay. I thought it would be gonna it was gonna be able to erase marker and other types of stuff because that's what it said online but no it doesn't so just so you know I'm getting another eraser someday someday but for now I'm using this which is like okay the next thing I wanted to I wanted to talk about is the Sakura Pigma Micron my favorite is the 0.8 side but it comes in so many different sizes it's kind of crazy this these are the black barrel edition and I would recommend these because they're they look prettier and I don't know they just look prettier the black and the gold so much better than the and then the beige and the silk you know you know but yeah I really like these pens and they're a great edition. speaking of Sakura I also have this Sakura Pigma Professional Brush Brush Pen. This, I actually, I came in a set of six and I used five of them. And so I only have one left and this one's like down to its last limb. I really love this one. But I think you gotta, you gotta have a lot of these if you wanna use them that much. If you want to, if you prefer to color a whole page black, do not use one of these. It will literally use all the ink on it. But 
I do really like these. These are really cool. Now, um, we have more of the glue and the tape and the cut kind of part, like the scrapbooking part, I guess. I just have these scissors. They're like child scissors, I guess. And I don't really know. I just use these because they fit my hand, I guess. I, eventually, I'm going to use some bigger scissors. But I like these for now, and they fit in my pencil case really well. So the next thing that I have is the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive um, Tape. This is a lifesaver. <laughs> if I ever mess up, I can always glue paper back in with this thing. And even for like just regular gluing, this is perfect. I, but it does take a lot, it does like take a lot of glue to do stuff like that. So I recommend buying refills before you need them. Hear that? Before you need them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, these are great and I really like them. So yeah. The next thing that I have is washi tape. Now, the first things that I have, I don't know where these washi tapes are from. Like, someone just gave them to me. It's just like, these are like beige-ish and they're just pretty good. They're like very neutral tones, craft papery type like washi tape and I really like that. So yeah. Now I got this one on vacation. <sighs> this is my first washi tape that I got on vacation and somewhere else. So this is the this is the Batoski Stone washi tape. I went in June 2021 and I got this washi tape and I'm like, yes. Now keep in mind it was like very pricey. It was like eight bucks for like this. And this was like the smallest I guess. Or it's one of the smallest. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this though because this is really cool and I love it. So the next thing I got is from one of my favorite YouTubers, Amanda Rich Lee. I have two washi tape sets because like why not? They're from Amanda. When you get when you go to Amanda's store, you have to get washi tape. And so yeah. So I have the pastel set, which or the dreamy pastel set, which is really awesome. I love the pink star. I love the pink star washi tape the best, but I also love the rest of them. And I really like the the ones with the little doodles on them because I just love them so much and more than I thought it would because the color really masks the um, doodles because I wasn't sure if I was going to want the doodles to be in my notebook because they're not my doodles, but I really like them. Now, in addition to the Dreamy Pastel set, I also have a dark monochrome set. This is really awesome. I especially like the black stars and... But I just really love them so much. They're so pretty, so pretty, right here, right here. Right here. Guys, so that was everything that goes in my pencil case. And just so you know, those are the stuff that I've shown you today aren't the only things. I have much more colors and other stuff. I just wanted to show you the bare basics because I just, it's just too hard to show you every single one of them in one frame and like pick them the wall but you get it so yeah okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe or you know what if you if you hated it dislike it i don't really care just do what you want with the video okay and i would really like it if you should if you share the video because I would like to get to 75 subscribers by the end of the year, but you know what? That's okay if we can't, you know? Okay guys, like, subscribe, have a great day, only if you want to though, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!